So we tried to ask you the question, what keeps music executives up at night? Um, and I think it's basically, it is this chart and this version of this chart, which has been the core issue uh, within media companies. And I have shown this chart to every single major media company in the world, and at every single major media company I've gotten the confession from somebody afterwards, usually the CEO, or in some cases the COO or the CTO will come up and say, that's us, right? And I want to say, you're not alone, right? <laughs> They're in a, in a reverse scaling business, right? And what they decided to do was they invested in software because they said software, the technology and the content is linked, like it's been in every other revolution. We have to control the means of production, right? And they spent a ton of money, money becoming really suboptimal software companies because none of them had the scale and scope to be a software company into themselves. And so in every company, the digital revenue is a fraction, some fraction of what the actual costs are, right? And so this has led to a problem where that when you ask what percent of your digital budget do you spend on content, it's somewhere between zero and five percent in most places, right? This is a big problem, right? And we had, I mean, uh, as recently as a few days ago, we had the um, a CXO at a major company call and say, I have just recognized that the reason I'm not successful in the digital world is because I don't spend anything on content. I'm spending everything on Java. Yeah. And my users don't yeah. care yeah. about Java. Yeah. I said, that we, we care about Java. <laughs> <laughs> no, but most users don't care about Java. And so, you know, so, and so they, they are living in this world where they've got a reverse scaling business. And in every major media company, you look at the report for the digital business, you'll see it's in the red. And, and generally, it's, it's understated because so many of the expenses are actually residing in different parts of the world and being covered up by the movie or the TV or the marketing or other departments. So it's not even a true picture of, what, of how much these things are losing, right? Two public examples that are out there. Business Week came out and said um, that on, when they were selling Business Week to Bloomberg, to you guys, they, they said that um, businessweek.com had spent $21 million to date, $21 million. And uh, you know, and we think that, that ultimately they had they had lost like fifteen million dollars total, right? Or actually, eighteen million dollars total uh, uh, on the whole thing, right? That it was it was it was generating a ton of loss and hadn't changed anything, right? The Guardian said, Ah, you Americans, we've lost twenty million pounds. That's real money <laughs> um, on Guardian.co.uk, right? Um, and then Discovery took the opportunity to say, You know, you newspaper people, ah, we lose real money, right? We're at hundreds of millions lost, right? Uh, and so in one week, there was this confession about all this stuff. And the reality is, is the reason for all this is two things. One is people are spending a ton of money on hardware and software, trying to become software companies. And the second thing is they don't have a content strategy. So they're taking content that exists, commoditizing the magazine, and creating lower, you know, low CPMs here for content they can sell here. It's, it's, it's sort of leading to this absurd result, right? And but. No one has yet kind of found the answer to this problem. And my, to be totally direct, I think music is much closer to finding an answer than any other industry to this problem. 